It is in Laikipia West that we meet 23-year-old Joel Kyogo. This is how he spends a lot of his days, sitting behind the wheel of a tractor, ripping or planting a client's field. He's one of the many farmers in Laikipia County who have embraced conservation agriculture and telling of their improved yields. I have 15 bags per acre, according to the Convention of Agriculture. I have a farm five acres, the same five acres. You can buy 25 bags. Like most young people, going into agriculture was not something he aspired to. But after failing to get employment, it seemed the only logical thing to do. I'm a plant operator. That's what I did as my course after high school. I tried it in Nairobi. I tried to get my At final, at last, I tried to get my life. I tried to get my life. I tried to get my in conventional agriculture, the practice is always to plow the land and loosen the soil before planting. But this is a method that agricultural experts are warning that the world must abandon because what the plowing does is that it turns the soil and alters its structure. And then the soil particles become loose such that over time, the more you keep plowing, the weaker the soil particles get. And when it rains, the soil particles hold together and then percolation doesn't happen properly. What they recommend instead is one of the methods of conservation agriculture known as zero tillage such as what is happening here where you can see the, la the land has already been planted this is a cabbage crop but there's no tilling that has happened here this is the land you can come to direct the, the, the planter you can have cheese you can have a ripper still it was cheaper you can have a ripper you can have 2500 according to the CA you can have 1500 Using the, the direct, direct planter, I can beat around 15 acres per day. Ukilinganisha na jembe, kan li kwa na li kwa chapa 6 to 7 acres. Nekipia County is listed among the semi-arid parts of Kenya with an annual rainfall of just 650 millimeters. The little rain and years of declining soil fertility have left many farmers at a disadvantage, unable to get value out of their soils. The county is part of the eight counties in which the European Union and the Food and Agriculture Organization are spending 10 million euros to teach the farmers about conservation agriculture using simple tools to build their resilience and boost their yields. Tango machine kuje ni me zaku datin 1,321 acres za direct sida ime ni zaku nifikisha pesa around 1.9 m for the reaper. I've been able to do kupa to six hundred and eighty two. Nimepata nine nine hundred thousand plus kutokapo. Across the county in Laikipia East, Peter Kahu is busy putting seed in the ground and deterred by the drizzling rain. His choice of tool is a homemade scaled down version of a zero till planter using components of other planters. For his two acre piece of land, Kahu says this is the perfect tool. This machine is a little bit of a tree for a tree. I'm going to use a tree for a tree. Previously, he used an animal drone planter, but frequent droughts made the bulls too weak to pull the machinery, and he therefore had to find another solution. Many people think that to increase agricultural yield, you need big machinery or huge irrigation projects. You need to do really big things. And actually, the message of conservation agriculture is that with some simple tools, some simple technology, you can actually double or even triple yield. Kenya's low agricultural production has largely been attributed to dwindling soil fertility, with official data indicating that the cereal yield in 1961 was 12.4 million tons, harvested on slightly over 11 million hectares. By 2016, land under cereal had risen to 28.1 million hectares, but the yield was only 13.9 million tons. Conservation agriculture was initially developed as a response to the U.S. Dust Bowl in the 1930s and it is one of the approaches that is increasingly being promoted on smallholder farms, not only in Kenya but also sub-Saharan Africa, to tackle the land degradation problem and improve soil health. Zainab Wandati NTV, 